Hey, this is the next stage of creating our character. So if you followed my last tutorial, you would have um, got up to a stage similar to this where you've just created this eyelid, um, the top eyelid and kind of the eye bag area, the bottom eyelid, uh, and you're kind of ready to move forward. Now in my last video, I did do something quite criminal and I did not line up the top eyelid on my um, side view. So apologies for that, but it should look something like this. I've fixed it now and this is how it should look. Now moving forward, now you want to make sure that you kind of look really closely at the shape of the eye because that's what kind of determines the realism of a character, I guess. I mean, especially if you're trying to make one of a known person, a celebrity. So you want to kind of analyze their face. You want to look at loads of different ph photographs of them as well and try and, you know, replicate the same kind of shape of the eye. So I'm going to leave mine like that for now. <clears throat> and then I'm going to move forward. And like I did say in my last video, I'm going to move a little quicker because I want to start adding some mass onto the face really quickly um, and more polys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select a number of edges. So by holding control and clicking, I'm going to select all these edges just here. I'm then going to hold shift, drag down. I'm not going to drag too far down because that's going to be just too much. We need to space these out evenly uh, so it gives us enough edges to kind of follow the geometry of the face, like so. You can see that it's going to be kind of a curve in our left view like this. So you want to make that kind of edge flow like that as well. And if you go onto vertex here, you know, let's not forget we have to change the angle. We have to make it kind of do this. So it kind of flows with the shape of of the character. It flows with the face. You then want to kind of do the same kind of step on the side here. So we're going to pull that out. Of course here we're just going to have to pull this back on the side view as well. Don't worry about this gap that's kind of just formed here. Because you're going to target weld that onto there. So again if you scroll down on the right, you're going to click on target weld. Click on this edge just here and then click on the edge you want to weld it to like so. Back on vertex and I'm just going to kind of spread that out a little better. So at this stage it's it's much you know it's a very much kind of mapping out the the main kind of um geometry in a really low poly way. So again just gonna drag this up to about here. And look you you can see in, in the front view that in the side view um sorry that the eyelid her top kind of just the area above the eyelid that leads onto the eyebrow is quite angled like this, it doesn't come back, it doesn't go straight, it comes quite far forward like this. But then it's your job to kind of weld this to here and kind of make it look smooth because at the moment look, it's going to be going out and you want to kind of almost like a gradient so the angle starts to change slowly as it comes towards the front of the eye <coughs> of that area just there. So I'm going to first of all target weld this vertice onto this one just here. So I'm going to scroll down, go into target world, click on this vertice and then click on that one. So we can see your target world it targeted it. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is a bit off today. So I'm just going to kind of drag this back. And can you see how the angle is kind of going slowly, kind of changing like so? And just here, it's going to come in a bit closer because the area around the eye just here is a little bit closer together. It's a little bit more narrower. So you want to just be careful that you are setting the right kind of space. We don't want to kind of drag this out all the way out here. You want to kind of follow it really nicely like that. Like so. And you'll start to kind of see what's happening here. 
if you find that one area is a bit too high or a bit too low it's probably because you haven't pulled it back in your side view so make sure you are kind of lining up the angle of the edges from the front and the side view can you see how the angles are changing like so and I'm just going to finish it off with the inside So again just holding control, just going to shift and drag that out and go on to my vertex target weld and then target weld this point here and this point here. And again just change that angle slightly. That's pretty perfect, pretty good. Um, again just make sure you're kind of following the shape because there will be a raise you can kind of see from the angle with the way the lighting hits the face that as you approach the, the bridge of the nose <clears throat> the cheek kind of goes up doesn't it it kind of smoothly kind of creates that angle that leads up to the bridge of the nose so you want to kind of make sure you're doing that as well so you're kind of slowly creating that angle like, like that Now I'm just going to kind of give you one tip, um, something which will probably help a little bit. If you press Alt and X and then press F4 on your keyboard, that's going to show you the model without the um, edges on there. And currently it's all kind of broken up, the edges look, they're all different, they're not smoothed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply smoothing groups onto this. So if I go to Polygon and select all the polys you can apply sort of one smoothing group over the whole lot which is okay and that looks okay but I actually want to separate the the eyelids and the eye bag so if I just hit F4 I'm gonna apply a separate smoothing group to that area so I'm just gonna hold control and I'm gonna select these polys just there I'm gonna deselect one so it's not on that same smoothing group and I'm going to click on number two and then if I press F4 can you see how that's separate now you can see that kind of hard edge that's just appeared I'm going to fix this up a little bit because what I want to essentially do is create a kind of similar look I mean if, if you look in this view here it does go in a little further than probably mine does, so I'm just going to pull this in slightly, pull that in slightly as well. But that's just me trying to be a perfectionist, I guess. Which you have to be to be a good model. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of that that done. At this stage now, I'm going to really quickly show you how to add a symmetry on there, so we have it, have the eye on the other side. Um, I'm going to click on this down arrow, go to my modifier list scroll all the way down to symmetry and then most likely it's going to be the wrong way so if it does something funky like this don't worry you need to hit plus next to symmetry this little black uh, box click on mirror and then that's going to allow us to move the mirror so in ensure that you have the move tool selected at the top just here and then you want to move this across now if it disappears again don't worry because you can flip it you have this icon here to flip and you just want to move that so it's roughly around the eye on the other side there you have it your very first kind of steps and you know in the next tutorial um, I'm going to be moving further and even quicker so you kind of seeing how we're creating that that shape the, the geometry around the eyes you're getting a good shape um, and it's looking pretty good so far so Move along onto my next video if you want to continue building uh, your character.